to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. been thank you it's been a very brief time here in Gombe but it's been most productive I sincerely want to appreciate um, Pastor Sam his dear wife the house on the rock family the Khan executives thank you and um, the men and the women of God who have paid that price there's nothing as beautiful as watching the church put aside their differences and walk together to see that the glory of God is revealed. The honor goes beyond a church, beyond an individual. The honor goes to the name of Jesus. This is what we have prayed for and we continue to encourage the body of Christ. Um, I truly was very honored seeing the executive of Cannes yesterday, I think PFN, and this is how it should be. You see, when one church wins and another fails, we all failed. It is only when we win together that we truly won. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I appreciate the honor, the love, the hospitality. Um, there is nothing in ourselves aside from that which God has done. You see, when you remove the God factor, we are not much. The reason why we are all that we are and we do what we do is because of His grace. Hallelujah. We'll have a brief session this morning. Like I promised, it will be a time when I'll be praying over our needs to wrap up this conference. And so let our hearts be open because God is visiting us in Jesus' name. Can you lift your hands to heaven and ask the Lord for an encounter? There are people outside, so many of them, wherever you are, release your faith and ask the Lord to give you a visitation. Are you talking to Jesus? The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Help us this morning and to you be all the glory in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Let me do a five or ten minutes recap of um, our session yesterday the Lord began to deal with us yesterday from the book of Acts chapter 6 if you remember particularly verse 4 the Bible says the Apostles said we will give ourselves continually to the ministry to prayer and the ministry of the word and I took the teaching yesterday from that angle. They showed us in that single verse the secret to a sustainable spiritual growth, a life of dexterity and stature, that it is derived from giving yourself continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And we did discuss yesterday how that we are not given the liberty in the kingdom to choose the ministry of prayer or the ministry of the word that both of them are important for the overall growth of the believer we identified a an error within the body of Christ where we have a group of people who choose the ministry of prayer as the only and the ultimate basis for their spiritual experience 
while others choose the ministry of the word alone and we did identify that that is not supposed to be that it is the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word in synergy together that produces a matured believer are we together and we also looked at first corinthians 1 and verse 24 we said from the ministry of prayer there is a kind of anointing that is derived from that ministry and from the ministry of the word there is a kind of anointing both ministries release a certain kind of engracing that from the ministry of prayer the anointing is revealed as the power of God and from the ministry of the word the anointing is revealed as the wisdom of God he says but to those who are called both Jews and Greeks Christ the power of God and Christ the wisdom of God that the power of God can make for possibilities to happen in your life but if that is all you have the engracing that comes through the prayer ministry you will not be able to understand the patterns and the systemic nature of God you will never be able to build anything that lasts this is the reason why there are many zealous people who are people of prayer with lots of spiritual power but most of them do not have character they do not have that stature they are not able to build anything of economic value of sociological value are we together because it is within the office of the ministry of the word to administer wisdom and the bible says a house is built through wisdom and that by understanding it is established through knowledge the house is filled with all kinds of treasures and resources so that if Gombe State is going to be built in a way that brings glory to the name of the Lord, then like the early church, like the apostles, you must give yourself continually to prayer and give yourself continually to the ministry of the word. Deriving from the ministry of prayer, the anointing revealed as the power of God. Deriving from the ministry of the word, the anointing revealed as the wisdom of God. Are we together having the prayer ministry without the ministry of the word will not bring economic development to a territory would not bring sociological development to a territory it is the reason why in most regions the church is viewed as a nuisance to civilization because all that happens largely is just shouting and prayer without any corresponding there is no there is no sociological advantage to that spiritual experience and so that in addition to the prayer ministry we must with the same gravity subscribe to doctrine soundness of scripture he says and that from a child thou has known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation acts 20 and verse 32 says and now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified Colossians 1 and verse 9 Paul was praying over the church in Colossae and he bowed his knees to our father that he may grant them the grace to be filled with the knowledge of his will to be filled with all the dimensions of wisdom and to be filled with spiritual understanding hallelujah and I did say also that there are people who have submitted themselves to the ministry of the word but have ignored the power of prayer together with its corresponding sacrifices like fasting and so on and so forth and to such people you find out that their lives just become full of fruitful spiritual propositions without the engracing to perform and to defend the things they know ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth they become like the fig tree that had green leaves and lured even jesus there and he came there and did not find any fruit hallelujah it is god's desire for us as individuals 
as a church and as a region to give ourselves continually to prayer and to give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word i didn't have the time to show you what is contained in the ministry of the word and what is contained in prayer but i did say yesterday that god in dealing with his people is limited by the provisions that scripture allows scripture is the jurisdiction of god's commitment to the believer that means god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions of scripture the only way to commit god is to find a scriptural basis for that commitment hallelujah it's very important the word of god is a compendium of the wisdom of god um, biblically there are four ways that we know god as revealed in scripture the first way we know god is through scripture scripture reveals the character of god scripture reveals the modus operandi the principles of the kingdom we call it the mysteries of the kingdom matthew 13 11 it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom so when you engage with the word of god it takes away spiritual ignorance from your life so that you are fortified like a city through knowledge hallelujah you learn the character of god when you study scripture you understand the boundary and the basis for committing god to the affairs of your life but when you come to the ministry of prayer the ministry of prayer has its own jurisdiction there are four four assignments of prayer in the life of the believers revealed from scripture the first and the highest assignment of prayer in the life of the believer is as a tool for transformation the bible says and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment became white and glistering speaking about jesus so the primary assignment of prayer is not just as a tool for petitions we are changed in prayer we are transformed into superior spiritual versions of ourselves a weak you can become a strong you in prayer a timid you can become a powerful you in prayer a carnal you can become a spiritual you in prayer the second assignment of prayer as revealed from scripture is as a platform for obtaining promises and for making petitions the bible says to be anxious for not in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 i'm just doing a recap it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god are we together mark eleven twenty four. 24 verily verily i say unto you what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it first thessalonians 5 17 the bible says to pray without ceasing to pray without ceasing james 5 13 apostle james was mentoring the church along the lines of prayer and he says if anyone is anyone among you afflicted he says let him pray then he says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man availeth much so prayer is a platform to obtain requests and to make petitions the third assignment of prayer as revealed from scripture is as a spiritual platform for warfare and intercession paul was mentoring the church in ephesus and he began to describe to them he said that um, in when you get to chapter 6 of ephesians he began to teach them about the warfare dimension of the believers journey he says to be strong in the lord and to derive your strength amplified says draw your strength from your union with him then he begins to say that we wrestle not against flesh and blood he lists the the structure of the satanic kingdom and he lets the believer know 
that it is within your power to ward off the forces and the arsenals of hell through the power of the intercessory and the warfare dimension of prayer if you do not know how to pray you may not be able to ward off the arsenals of hell that try to impede and to thwart the purposes of God over your life hallelujah the last assignment of prayer as revealed in scripture is for creation and spiritual legislation that prayer is a platform where we can create possibilities creation did not stop on the seventh day God only rested now he's mandated us to become extensions of his creative ability even God who quickened the dead and that he is able to call the things that be not as though they were so in prayer we can declare and it happens I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound bone began to come to his bone and I prophesied again and life came it was an exceeding great army when you do not know how to pray you will not know how to legislate and create spiritual possibilities in your life are we blessed so the ministry of the word and the ministry of prayer the primary tools given by Jesus himself and even the apostles for the growth and the maturity of a believer remember I discussed with us the temptation of Jesus that although Jesus was the word he still submitted himself to prayer and fasting that he was the word was no excuse and strangely that after his prayer and fasting you would think Satan will run away from him with all the prayer and the fasting the first person he met after he was done was Satan and he did not say I prayed as the basis for sending Satan away he said it is written hallelujah so I think that's a fair recap for yesterday this is for those who were not able to make it we had the time to pray and we thank God for the move of his spirit in our midst this morning very briefly it's just a charge it's a miracle service so I'll be praying by the way did they write the request okay um, if for those inside and outside how many of you have your prayer requests now if you didn't write your prayer request you still have the liberty to quickly do that while we're teaching the ushers who collate it those outside especially you can quickly write your prayer requests why do we write our requests it's just a prophetic act according to Philippians 4 and verse 6 the Bible says to let our request be made known don't assume God knows it it says let your request be made known hallelujah we we'll collate it here and I'll be praying on it um, and trusting God to release miracles in Jesus name so for this morning we'll look at Romans 15 and verse 19 just one scripture and then we'll begin to pray I will lift my voice and I will sing I will sing holy I will sing holy to my Lord and Savior my God and King I will sing holy I will sing holy and I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone He who was and this and this to come I will sing before you strong forever. Your holy, your holy, your holy. Be 
lifted high, be lifted high, oh Lord, be lifted high, for you are Romans 15 19 let's read together if we can see it projected as loud as you can ready read in mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and round about Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel of Christ he says in mighty signs and wonders and even by the power of the Holy Spirit so that from Jerusalem and round about Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel that means the gospel is not fully preached until there is the dimension of it that captures signs and wonders he says that the gospel is not only a message there is a component to the gospel that completes it to be called the full gospel that if the gospel is only a proposition of words it is not complete in signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and round about to Illyricum I have fully preached to fully preach means to declare the truth of God's Word and back it up with the power that performs that means the communication of faith that just stops as an intelligent exegesis of Scripture without the power of God to prove the things that have been proposed is not the full gospel are we together the gospel that is complete is the gospel that proposes the truth as written in scripture and then gives the Holy Spirit an opportunity to bring life and power to that which was proposed I believe in the power of God I believe in miracles signs and wonders as tokens and testaments of the truthfulness of what we propose as written in scripture i believe in the god that acts not just the god that speaks god does not speak alone he acts and listen the gospel that we preach is one that must allow us to both hear and see the gospel that is limited to hearing alone is not the full gospel if it is the gospel that is backed up with the power of god you will both hear and you will see Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 we're going to begin to pray now then Philip went down to the city of Samaria the Bible says and preach Christ unto them the Bible says when he went to Samaria he started by preaching Christ unto them verse 6 the Bible says the multitudes let's read it together verse 6 ready one to read and the multitudes with one accord he did the things spoken by Philip uh-huh hearing and seeing one more time hearing and one more time hearing and they didn't just hear what he was saying they had an opportunity to see a performance hearing and seeing the miracles which he did that means when it comes to miracles you don't just say people should not just hear there must be a performance hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what were the miracles seven 
the bible says for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were demonized or possessed and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed as a result there was great joy in that city when the gospel is fully preached the end of it is that there must be joy not just to individuals not just to families but even to the whole city philip went down to samaria and if all he did was just to declare the truth of scripture they would live with lots of doubts and fears but the bible says the people gave attention hearing and seeing i believe in the god whose power can be demonstrated i believe in the truth of scripture now whilst the fundamental basis of our pursuit of god is not miracle signs and wonders we love him and we seek him because of who he is however like i would always point out miracle signs and wonders are consolations to our christian experience they help and remind us that the god that we serve is a living god are we together yes the god that we serve is not dead the god that we serve is alive but how can we prove that he's alive except by the multifaceted the manifold communication of the wisdom of god revealed the bible says that all these things a display of the wisdom and the power of god all together they walk ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now unto principalities and powers might be made known by the church the manifold wisdom of god we need to see and know the manifold wisdom of god this morning you have left your jobs some of you have shut down your shops you've shut down your businesses some of you took excuses off work i was so humbled when um they were bringing me in and i saw people outside several people and i said this is a representation of hunger it will be evil and unfair for you to go back the way you came and i tell you until we bring a display of the power of god with testimonies and provable results like never seen we have no right to tell people to stop going to shrines we have no right to tell people to stop consulting with dark powers all those who stopped them in the bible brought an alternative that was superior and provable we cannot tell people stop visiting herbalists stop visiting native doctors and then they stop that and come and we give them nothing this bible was a demonstration of the power of light over darkness can I tell you sincerely, my dear people, do not forbear with pain. God still brings an end to captivity. Do not allow the limitations around your life. Don't build a theology around your limitation to mean God cannot. No, 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 no. This morning I have come very briefly to roll away that stone. It is possible for Lazarus to still come out. Even though he had been there three days. He said, roll away the stone. Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There's none like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger Lord, you are higher than any other 
Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Listen, think with me for a moment, ladies and gentlemen, how beautiful it will be for someone to mock you while you are on your way to church and you return back home with a provable testimony. You are going to that your church again and then you return back and say these are some of the benefits of serving the Lord. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and in blessing him forget not. There are benefits to serving him. Are we together? Now watch me. When a visitor comes to your house, he doesn't come to your house to eat. He may come to your house for an important meeting. However, there are benefits. He most likely would come and meet a table prepared. Is that true? Especially if he comes to spend time, you are deliberating on something political or whatever it is. But somewhere there, we call it item seven. Item. People come for weddings. They don't necessarily come to eat. Even burials, people, you are thoughtful that although people are crying, you still will leave a provision to cater for their welfare. If you being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. The Bible says, how much more shall your heavenly father? In God's mind, the proof of fatherhood is not having children. The proof of fatherhood is the ease to give. That means the moment your hand withholds, you are not Abba, you are not a giver. So every time we are gathered before our Father, He longs to demonstrate His fatherhood. Can I tell you this? Miracles and signs and wonders. Listen carefully before we begin to pray. Every time you receive a supernatural touch from God, a testimony, whether over your health, your finances, or any aspect of your life, I will tell you, we must learn to discern the supernatural. Every miracle you receive, even that which you will receive now, in it is a letter from God to you. You must understand what he writes on miracles. There are two things that is written on this letter that you call a miracle. Number one, I love you. Every time you experience the miraculous power of God, contained in that miracle is a letter from heaven to you attesting to the fact that god is love when he heals he reveals through healing that he is love when he restores he reveals through restoration that he is love when he lifts when he anoints no matter what the supernatural manifestation is the first message that comes with every performance of god in the life of an individual more so a believer is i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness message number two every time god reveals his power in the midst of his people he is reminding you that he is god because you see your challenges have a way of magnifying themselves and because of the longevity of their presence they can demean and downplay the power of god so he reminds you by that spectacular manifestation of his power that in spite of all that the devil has done, I still remain as God. These are two messages you must discern every time you see the miraculous. Listen to me. If you receive miracles without receiving the letter that comes with them, it does not bless you. The letter that comes with the miracle is as important as the miracle. So when God lifts, when God saves, when God blesses, when God transforms, when God heals, when God opens doors, in all of this, he's telling you that number one, Gombe State, and whatever family and whatever individual, I love you. And then number two, he reminds you that I am God. Sometimes we can forget that he is God. Almighty. El Shaddai, the multi-breasted one. The train of his robe fills the temple. That's what Isaiah saw. And the cloud of heavenly worshippers surrounding your throne. We join with them now, crying holy. 
holy is the Lamb, the Lamb of God. I see the Lord, I see the Lord, exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see I see the Lord For my eyes have seen the King Is the Lamb upon the throne Who reigns forever I have seen the power of God in my life as I travel from region to region, you would think that after many years of seeing the power of God, you will get used to it. The power of God is like breathing. You've been breathing from the day you were born and yet you never get used to it. It is new, it is spectacular with every sin. I have seen God lift people. I have seen God turn lives around, but I still stand amazed at what the power of God can do. I assure you by the God of heaven that this God we serve is powerful. That's why I sang the song that I sang yesterday. That I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and found that Baba Wanika Maruka I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that Babu Listen, have you seen the way God lifts? Ask Esther. Have you seen the way God heals? Ask the man who was born blind and the one who had been 38 years have you seen the way God restores ask Job in the Bible have you seen the way God prospers ask Abraham have you seen the way God is able to wipe the tears of people ask Elizabeth ask Hannah Have you seen the way God is able to restore joy to a family? Ask the widow at Nain. All the men in her life went and the last one was about to go. But when she met him, he said, no, not so. Let's return back and brought life. This is the God that we're talking about. Listen, you may be seated here saying, Apostle, you don't know the kind of family I'm coming from. Listen, I present to you this one who is fearfully mighty. When he arises from his throne on your behalf, woe betides the force that stands in between you and his love. Abu We are going to pray. I will be praying over your requests and I will be speaking over your life. Lend me a minute or two and let me teach you a formula for receiving from the anointing and from receiving from God. The Bible mandates according to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says that everybody who comes to God must number one, come believing that he is, he exists. He exists you can come to God doubting and hoping is he real he says that you must believe that he exists and then number two you must believe that he's a rewarder it's not just what he does it is his name he's a rewarder he is that benevolent that he will never call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain if he calls you then he's ready to reward. I'm seeing a smoke of his presence here. And listen, the Lord is telling me, we're going to pray shortly, that there is a grace for speed. Listen, 
and when i begin to pray and i release that word please ushers help those under the anointing because people will start running you will be amazed they are not doing it on their own and i want you to bring them out it's a grace god can shift a man from where you are he can take 10 years and put it in one year and the lord has spoken to me that he's releasing the grace for speed i stretch my hands may that grace right now i'm seeing the number 35 upon 35 people that anointing and that grace is coming let that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus receive that grace speed bring them out by the spirit of the living god please bring them out such an anointing for speed you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to your life speed in life and destiny speed in ministry and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael while you bring them out let me teach you something before i wrap up what i'm saying you see the the zenith of dominion in this kingdom is dominion over time dominion over things is wonderful but when you have dominion over time my god i'm seeing this anointing fall i'm seeing the number 35 on 35 people that means embargoes of delay there are many of you nothing is growing in your life except your age the only thing growing and increasing in your life is your age but this mantle is resting upon you now wherever you are whether you are inside or outside receive that grace right now even by the spirit of god speed coming upon you in ministry in destiny now pay attention the bible says everyone who must come to god must come believing that number one he exists and number two he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him receiving a miracle from god listen carefully it mandates that there are two principal conditions that must be met number one you must believe in the god of heaven as father abba the source the sustainer and the giver of every good things number two you must believe in the vessel who becomes the expression of his power that when you believe in the lord your god you shall be established but that you believe in his servants his prophets and you prosper you can believe in god and not believe in the vessel he's using you will not receive anything you need to believe in the god of heaven who is the giver of all things and then you must believe in his prophets i believe that god sent me here to this city and even this morning at this miracle service because someone's life is about to change in the name of jesus christ lift your hands in one minute and ask the lord to touch you in a way that will bring glory to his name some of you over your health some of you over your finances go ahead and pray in one minute i want to begin to minister to you now mighty god Holy, holy, go ahead and pray. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the man. You are holy. hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord as i raise this song 
I just saw like light just going towards the minister session I just saw like light and I don't know who but there is there is I'm seeing at least three men of God the Lord is saying I saw this same thing when I was ministering in Joss ministering in Joss that a season is coming to an end and another season is beginning this is what I saw I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I release you by the power of God step into that new season help them please step into that new season even by the spirit of the living God step into that new season in the name of Jesus Christ now the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions please hear me i want to rebuke every spirit that is standing the way of your blessing at the count of three inside and outside i want you to shout the name jesus and at the shout of that name every spirit that is not of the christ must give way are you ready now one two Three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, every devil of darkness, give way now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring deliverance to families. I bring deliverance to destinies. Be set free now. Every planting that is not by God, it gives way by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I command every spirit and every yoke give way now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out goodness my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by i'm still praying the lord is showing me the lord is showing me families here where it looks like only one or two people get to rise out of those families and just when they're about to settle they just crash down i'm praying right now i don't know who is a victim of this right now i stretch my hand may that fire from heaven rest upon you right now i break that chain right now help them please i break that chain right now i break that chain right now limitations over families be broken in the name of jesus limitations be broken in the name of jesus hallelujah who is by the name Rachel I'm hearing the name Rachel I want to pray for the sick shortly but just to minister to one or two people I'm hearing a name Rachel the Lord wants to visit that family in a very mighty way who is Rachel please make sure you verify don't just come out carelessly Rachel Madam, point this woman wearing green. That woman, what is your name? Come, you are the one I'm talking about. I will pray for you, but please help, somebody help me verify. I don't know who that. Mama, okay. What is her name? What is your name, madam? Okay. I 
I want to pray for you. What's your name, ma? Rachel. Your name is Rachel. The Lord wants to bring salvation to your family. You believe that? I, I will believe. pray for you. I believe. Mama, please look at me. God wants to take something out of your body. Huh? Is that true? There is something God wants to remove from your body. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't remove the... I didn't even know she was wearing... In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Salvation comes to your household by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact for every other person standing in as Rachel. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Is there somebody called Yakubu? I'm hearing a name, Yakubu. Yakubu. Please, if it's not your name, don't come out so that we save time. It's a brief session, the miracle service. Yakubu. Is there someone like that? You are wearing like a monkey jacket or something like that. Yakubu. What's your name? Yakubu. From where? From Kaduna. The Lord is showing me someone. Please don't be offended. I'm not trying to get you emotional. Your loved one right now as I'm talking is part of some people that they kidnapped. Who is that? Like, I think they were on the road or so and they kidnapped them. There's somebody like that. We need to pray. Is there, is there someone like that? The Lord is just revealing this to me. Not, not within Gombe here. But you have a loved one. Is part of those they are trusting God for right now to even raise some money to be able to set them free we want to pray so that God will preserve them my friend what do you do I'm a teacher you are a teacher I want to pray for you what did you study mathematics huh? mathematics in the name of Jesus I'm not seeing you stand long doing teaching at all I'm seeing God lift you in fact not even in this city in the name of Jesus I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord honor you. Honor you and bring miracles to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Honor you and bring miracles to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. Please, all the prayer requests, you can collate them and just bring them to the front now. All of you who are trusting God for healing wherever you are inside or outside I believe in miracles lay your hands make contact with any part of your body I want to pray for you you don't have to come out just where you are lay your hands I want to pray for you what's that Huh? Along the road to um, Benue. They kidnapped them. They kidnapped him. Who is that? Brother. Your brother. Yes. How long? And um, is last day. Uh, last day. Is he still there? No, he spent about two, getting to three months. Is he back now? That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. The one I'm talking about is still there. May God preserve your family in Jesus' name. But when you find somebody, I'm somebody, a loved one, I'm just walking based on what God has revealed to me. Hallelujah. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And I want you to believe in the power of this prayer. The Lord is going to bring you healing right now. I hear the chains falling I hear the chains In the name of Jesus Christ Shout a loud Amen Gombe In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ right now i decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity here by the power that raised christ from the dead 
I decree and declare right now I command that spirit let God's people go now out of their lives out of their bodies now out of their lives out of their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ migraine headache be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name every blind eyes be open now in Jesus name deaf ears be open now in Jesus name everyone having any bone condition in the name of Jesus whether you're on crutches you're in a wheelchair bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus every problem with your spine I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed in Jesus name every growth in your body I command that growth to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed now high blood pressure be healed now HIV be healed now cancers and tumors be healed now recurrent migraine headache it comes and goes it comes and goes be healed now dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again Bye.